All right, we're gonna get in here and we are gonna join this sewer lateral. We gotta make some connections. Gotta come over here, we gotta unbury that pipe over there a little bit. So, yeah, we have to uh, <laughs> get down here and do some cutting. All right, welcome back. We ended up cutting up in this wall here behind the kitchen and uh, cutting off this cast iron pipe, um, making sure we put a good band on there. We kind of did the same thing down in the basement. We just cut it off, put the correct bands on there. See that all the way up now. Yeah, before it had, if you remember, like a band right here, and it only just had the metal straps right here. It didn't have the metal band going across the whole thing. I was told that was not up to code. I went ahead and dry fit in my drain for the uh, bathtub upstairs. Everything went really good. It took a little bit of time. Talked to a plumber. He was supposed to stop by uh, and look at my progress. We also went over here and finished securing the sewer lateral drain. So everything has been secured. I wanted to kind of wait until I talked to a permit to cover this, or uh, <laughs> until I talked to a plumber before I covered this up just in case. I threw all that back dirt back in. I didn't want to mess around. So anyway, a lot of good progress today. Thanks for coming back. Um, we're going to start tiling the uh, shower now. So I'll try to send another, get another video before we're done, but I left my phone at home today. So you guys are missing out on a lot of good footage. kitchen and uh, cutting off this cast iron pipe um, making sure we put a good band on there we kind of did the same thing down in the basement we just cut it off put the correct bands on there see that all the way up now yeah before it had if you remember like a band right here and it only just had the metal straps right here it didn't have the metal band going across the whole thing I was told that was not up to code. I went ahead and dry fit in my drain for the uh, bathtub upstairs. Everything went really good. It took a little bit of time. Talked to a plumber. He was supposed to stop by uh, and look at my progress. We also went over here and finished securing the sewer lateral drain. Everything has been secured. I wanted to kind of wait until I talked to a permit to cover this, or uh, <laughs> until I talked to a plumber before I covered this up, just in case. I threw all that back dirt back in. I didn't want to mess around. So anyway, a lot of good progress today. Thanks for coming back. Um, we're gonna start tiling the uh, shower now. So I'll try to send another, get another video before we're done. But I left my phone at home today, so you guys are missing out on a lot of good footage. Okay, so I turn the water on just to make sure that everything is flowing downhill. Everything looks good. There's no leaks. I could hear it running through the sewer drain. Don't feel any water. Nothing. Oh my God, there's a leak. Just joking. Just joking. But you would have figured with how bad I am at being a plumber, we would have had a leak. So everything's good. So I'm gonna start backfilling it. So we just had the sewer lateral transition removed. 
we stuck in a four inch pipe and a couple 45s, banded it together with the old cast iron. We just flushed it. Everything is good and we are ready to put all of this dirt back and pour some cement. This is a good feeling. Finally putting dirt back in. It's been at least a month waiting to do this. just because this stuff it's just dust and I don't want to breathe it. Got better things to breathe.
Here though. Okay. This is the first two what five gallon buckets of cement. 
going in. Sorry, my breath. Shit is heavy. It's 120 pounds total. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour it in from over here. That's where it needs to start. And then back flow it. We'll see how it goes. Sorry, we'll get to see in here. Go get a trial real quick. All right, just to give you a little idea of how things are going, this is just one trip, two bags, and um, it looks pretty good. So I'm happy with it. I know it's gonna settle a little bit. I'll give it some time and I'll come back and I'll flat trial it again. But everything's going pretty good. I don't know. I think we're at least gonna be about 12 bags. Easy, so I better get to it. Here's buckets two and four. I don't know if you can see in there any better. Again, sorry for the heavy breathing. Shit is heavy. So, keep my buckets clean. I'm rinsing them out after every, every trip. Not rinsing them out, but like cleaning them up a little bit. That one did pretty good. Where's that trowel? This one's kind of soupy, so I mean, we'll see, we'll see what happens here. or anything like that so that being said we could always come over this with like a self level leveler and uh really smooth it out and make it look really good and that's that's probably what we're gonna have to do which is again not a big deal because the floor is gonna get covered up anyway so all right but yeah things are things are moving Things are grooving. Doing good. Alright, 
this is bag five and six. Come on, good. Making it a little too soupy. I need to, I need to do better. Because this one is really soupy. But it's all gonna work out. Soupy one. Oh, that's way too soupy. Wow. So it's soupy, but the bottom kind of thickens it up a little bit. And I think everything's going to be okay. I'm just going to have to put a little bit thicker, but I'm not trying to burn up my drill either. So, man, we may need to use all these damn bags. All right. Let's see if we can get a little bit better. Fly around here. All right, so this is bag. What is it, five? Five and six. That in there. Oh, that one was a little soupy. Like I said, when we're all done, we could come in with a bag of self-leveler, pop, 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 clean it up, make it look good. We just don't want any high spots. We don't want that.
Whew. Shit, it's not getting lighter. It's getting heavier. I don't like it. when I'm done with this, I'm gonna go do one more bucket and then I'm gonna bring a level across here and just make sure there's no high spots on the uh, on the concrete. Low is cool, I can do a self leveler, no big deal. But if we got high spots or screwed, I don't wanna feel a hump, I want it to feel good. All right, I'm hoping this is the last have cement. It probably will be either way. It's like I said, that self leveler. Oh yeah, this one. This one. Yeah, that'll do it. That self leveler will come in and take care of all this. Any extra that needs to be done. So that was 15 60 pound bags. When I did the calculator, it said something like 13 bags. And man, I just didn't want to be low. You know what I'm saying? I want to be, I didn't want to come up short. Because if I come up short, I'm gonna, and I've been working in the middle of the night, that's, that's a big problem. 
you know, don't want that problem. That's looking good. I like it. So all this is going to be covered. No one's going to know that this thing ever happened because I'm going to put a floor tile over it of some sort. Man, that looks good. Pretty happy with that. Pretty darn happy with that. Yep. Really happy with that. So, you know, later on tonight, I'm going to come back and I'll remove all this. Oh, sorry about that. Remove all this dirt. Throw it in the backyard. It's good. Topsoil. But for now, I'm just going to go grab a level, double check, make sure there's no high spots, and I'm going to get the heck out of here. All right. We have our sewer drain filled in with four inches of cement, and we backfilled it with the soil. Obviously, there's not enough room for that soil to go back in, so I'm sure it will probably settle, but I think we're going to be in a good spot. Now we just have to maybe top dress this with the self leveler and everything's going to look good and then we'll put some flooring over it. Got some living room lights today. Everything's functioning. Loving it. Got a kitchen light functioning. Loving it. Got the, got the microwave. I'm going to put a plate there. Got a plate there. Or a blank there. Let's see. Are we pretty much wrapped up? Okay, so we got nice. And these lights were only like, what, 60 bucks for five or something? Yeah. I mean, come on. I was, absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. Got a light in every room. 